Here you've got abundance, Virgo. Keep a positive mindset, Virgo. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss is going to get you through. Okay. How do you make a positive mindset? How do you keep a positive mindset? Is every day you make a gratitude list or you make one at the beginning of the week and you read it on the daily to remind yourself of your abundance. Write down the things in your life that are abundant. Okay. That you have that it doesn't have to be what anybody else has. It's about what makes you completely happy, where your abundance lies, you know. Um, and man, and when we have the gratitude for the things we already have, we wind up actually achieving more. Because when we feel a sense of lack, then we're always in a position of wanting more, and then it's never attainable. It's only when we already accept the 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 and have the gratitude for what we do have because we are content and these are our riches and we're just very happy about that we actually accumulate more riches okay so i feel like that's a strong message for you again in january and so starting off the 2024 year with a gratitude list is a wonderful healing therapy and um really gets you in a good mindset now let's take a look what else is going on here okay clarity definitely strength definitely the ten of pentacles wow virgo so some of you um in january are either going to get news or good news or overcome an obstacle about um an inheritance um a business um real estate there's going to be security okay so there may be communication or just some clarity um about these things now you've also got strength here there's leo energy there so this to me feels like power this leo energy this to me feels like security um being bold, courageous. There's something coming up, possibly a new beginning happening here, um, a new thought, new idea. Um, the ice melting, I'm hearing. You're going to have the boldness and the courage to accept some type of gratuitous tangible thing coming to you in January okay um, like I said those things that I just mentioned now with that being said Virgo this also comes after you getting clear about the abundance you already have you know some people can live in a tent and make a home out of that and they're gr and they're grateful for that right that if they have like basic necessities you know they have shelter there's heat <laughs> you know the access to water access to food there are some people in this world where that's abundance for them the basic necessities do you know what i mean so you know it's all in perspective um and where you are in your life you know there's some people out there that live in five million dollar homes and they are so very unhappy you know um either because they're competing or they're keeping up with you know the the Joneses or you know they, they they just they they are never settled and they always want more and more and more you know and and I mean these people could like rule the world and still not be happy so I feel like your strongest message here after getting this abundance and clarity and the, the gratitude for what you do have some new some new stuff starts coming in like I was saying and you get word or news or a message or communication or new thoughts and ideas you you become more courageous to accept not to go after because i don't see you chasing but more courageous to accept like even this lifelong secure i mean like there's money <laughs> for some of you there's a big big um money like an inheritance or just uh, something like there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow virgo you know and some of you are already living in that pot of gold you're already in it and then 
some more comes. You know, I just, so it's not necessarily about money, but it is about things that, you know, people say, well, money can't make you happy. Well, you know, in some ways that's true, but um, having money to be able to live in a safe, secure place can bring happiness, you know, so money is just access to things, really. You know, but like I said, I uh, keep repeating myself. There are some people that are just um, completely happy with where they are. And those people, are, I think, are like the richest people of all. Right? So let me see what else is going on here for you. Okay. All right. There might be a, a new baby coming into the family. Some of you might be really changing your mind about your spiritual beliefs as well but you've got the wheel of fortune yeah and the empress is all about the new beginnings and abundance and happiness i'm telling you virgo i feel like the and so that's pisces and we have taurus libra energy i feel like your message here is once you get into that place of gratitude and abundance i mean you could have two pennies to your name and that's more than somebody else right that's looking at like okay well i'm all right though i'm not great but I'm all right. I'm good. Once you get into that, Virgo, and changing your mindset, things begin to shift and all the good luck and good fortune comes to you. Okay. Once you're just completely, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like whenever you're seeking, whatever you're seeking, you, you'll never be able to catch up to. It's like chasing a dog with a ball. As long as you're chasing that dog who has a ball in their mouth, they're going to run from you. But when you stop chasing that dog, that dog comes right back and drops the ball right in your feet, right at your feet. So that's when, you know, here's the ball. It comes to you. Things will come to you when you just stop for a minute and just kind of get a new perspective, right? And, and whatever those things are, for some of you, it's a new job. For some of you, it's like money. For some of you, it's marriage. For some of you, it's long-term commitment. Like I said, inheritance, real estate, you could be buying a home. You might like the perfect home might just fall in your lap once you're great, once you're in gratitude of where you live at, currently, you know, um, I love it. <laughs> Even if it's just stability for some of you. Okay, let me, let's get a... Another message. Another message for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? All right. So, yeah, look at that, Virgo. That's exactly what I'm, I was saying. I feel like I should almost cut this short because it keeps saying the same thing. The Seven of Pentacles is taking stock and taking inventory of your life. What it is that you deserve will come to you once you accept that what you have is what you deserve. And I feel like you're really going to be looking at all of that. Look at that. The world. Looking at the past chapter of your life, taking a look at everything that you've, how far you've come and what lessons you've learned and what you've gained in knowledge and wisdom and how your heart has healed for some of you. There is healing. I feel like you're, whole, you're taking a different outlook um, on the world and your surroundings and the people in your life and the people who have left your life. And even people new coming into your life. So there's like this whole, uh, yep, taking that, taking that moment to just be like, wow, you know, look at this. Looking back on the past and thinking about the future. And there's, there's a shift. There's change. There's like a whole new chapter for you to start writing in January. And especially when it comes to love, you know, um, there is again, and I feel like this ties into the other reading, um, about really looking at your love language or looking at your heart or looking at your partner and finding the commonalities between you instead of the differences if you currently have a partner and if you don't um setting yourself up to be in a position to receive love um from someone who is in alignment with you and the the opportunity i do feel like it comes to you Right? And so there's a whole lot of like, I just feel like once your mindset changes, Virgo, once you shift your perspective, that's when things start coming to you. That's when all the things that your heart has ever desired, um, you start finding it where you are. And then more of that comes. Look at that. 
nine of cups so there's your wishes being granted for you this is absolute contentment and joy and happiness a little bit of indulgence he's got like a cup here and then he's kind of holding he's got like some little pies and some of you going to get a piece of the pie or a couple pieces of the pie virgo i love this oh and then we just saw the ten of cups there nine the nine to the ten virgo and the key is how do you get to this point is when you get into a place of gratitude absolutely uh, finding the silver lining i see you doing that i do and i just feel like the floodgates begin opening you know the more we complain to the universe the more they mirror that give us our complaints right back to us and they bring us more problems but the more we sit in gratitude and thank the universe or for some thanking god um the more of those good things we're thankful for um begin coming back to us right so your perspective and your mind shift is everything and wow you've got the high priestess and the star total intuition cards here total renewal of your soul your everything like the soul is really all that matters in this reading right now um there's renewal there's hope again there's this like this bright star following you and it's lit up within you okay um this is really coming into contact with the deepest deeper mysteries of your life you have like a very cosmic thing happening for you virgo here in january in this particular reading and um I just feel like that those inner things that you have been keeping within that you just haven't really shared with anyone for whatever reason or your all-knowing intuition um, you've been receiving messages and and you've, you're being called and you might have been blocking it or ignoring it and i feel like as you if you've been doing that there's like this star the north star there's a star that is just so bright in the sky you catch a glimpse of at night and it's that's like you have to you have to pay attention to that because that's lighting your path okay and it's but it's within you uh, Virgo this reading was so spiritual I mean it's just beautiful all right hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.